Champions League playoff second leg and an old firm. Let's go. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for joining us for episode 4. The first three episodes have been absolutely amazing in terms of support guys. Thank you very much for anyone who's watched so far. If you've not and you've somehow clicked on this video, go back and watch them. There's a playlist for this save. If you want to watch any of my other saves, then they're all on the channel. But let's jump into things. Today we have the second leg of the Champions League playoffs away at Shakhtar. And then we've got our first old farm of the save. We're away at Rangers on the Sunday. So it's a big week. It's a big week for us as a club. We could potentially be looking at Champions League group stage, which would be unreal. But how have we got on since the last episode? So after our last episode, obviously, we had that defeat to St Mirren in the League Cup. Not ideal. But however, we did manage to go and get a result 1-0 in our first leg against Shakhtar so that was 2-0 Giamakis with the goal a superb defensive performance in that game they were all over us and we managed to uh, hold on and get the win and put ourselves in a decent position going into the second leg here so looking forward to that then we played St Mirren again and apparently St Mirren just love scoring goals against me I don't know how they're not doing that well in the league but they're unreal David Turnbull saved us in this game <laughs> big time so they went 2-0 up Jamie McGrath scored almost an identical goal to the goal he scored in that League Cup game so uh, need to work on the defence a little bit I think being exploited at the back there but then Curtis Main gets sent off gives us a penalty we get one back then literally a minute later David Turnbull scores again and then 93rd minute free kick David Turnbull just outside the box he curled it into the top corner and we won, so we're still sitting at top of the league in the uh, in the Cinch Premiership. We're now four points clear of Rangers, so this old farm is massive for us. Um, we can you know potentially break away and start you know charging some sort of pressure on Rangers and and getting that gap growing. Ross County are just behind us, which is weird again. They must be playing very well. David Turnbull is still top goal scorer in the league. He's no longer top player. There's some Ross County players that are up there. Um, Nico Williams still has the most assists with two. He's tied with a few different players there, though. And uh, David Turnbull's got the most players in the matches. So, without further ado, let's get into the Shakhtar game. Let's see if we can qualify for the Champions League group stage. Let's go. So this is the team that I'm going with to play away from home against Shakhtar. Greg Taylor comes in at left back. Juranovic at right back. Welsh and Starfield are in set of defence. Um, Carter Vickers is currently injured, hence why Welsh just came in. We then got McGregor and Sorrow in the centre of midfield with Turnbull playing ahead of him. Turnbull, I can't rest him. He is too good at this point. We have Jota coming in at the left midfield and Forrest on the right with Furuhashi up front. Um, in the last game, I wasn't very happy with Jim uh, sort of returns. He didn't look too strong up front so I've gone with Furuhashi up front instead for this game but yeah let's just go for it see what happens let's see if we can get into the Champions League group stage let's go boys right here we go the players come out we're away we're we're placing Kiev um here no there's issues with Shakhtar so we're placing Kiev there's not a lot of fans there but they've got a corner straight from the kickoff great save from Joe Hart come on let's see if we can get a result here Right highlight here. They're coming in midfield. That's a great run. He's going to shoot. It's a save from Joe Hart. He's lucky no one came in, but that was good. On the line as well. Goal in technology there. Didn't cross, but uh, wow. That is uh, that was a close one. Right, so it's currently 26 minutes in. We have had nothing in the way of chances, and they've had four on target shots. So I'm just going to tweak about with the tactics here because I'm a bit worried about what's happening here. So I'm going to push them out. I'm going to press them more often. Let's regroup. And then... That'll do. That'll do for just now. 
Let's go wider. Attacking. Right. There's a few tweaks there. Just to, I don't really know what's happening, but I just want to put a bit more pressure on them because they're getting far too much in the way of opportunities. Right, we're just coming up to half time here. We've still not had any further highlights. That is half time now. And it's still nil-nil. We're still in a good position. We're still leading over the tie. We've had one shot on target compared to their four. So they are all over us. We've had the most possession though. We're just not really doing much with it. So let's get into the dressing room. Let's get the boys motivated. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Second half. Highlight here for Shakhtar. Below the top. Taylor's got it. Jota. Can we hit them on the break? McGregor. Taylor. Back. Don't get caught in possession. Welsh. Starfelt. So, oh, great ball. Oh, we're through. Furuhashi, can he finish it? He goes in the keeper. Kyogo, Furuhashi, 1-0. It puts us 2-0 up on aggregate. Just into the second half, we are, we've got one foot in the Champions League group stage. One foot. Come on, let's go. Look at this. Furuhashi rounds the keeper in just, oh, too easy. And that's why we played him up front. I knew there was a reason we played him today. Superb. Let's go. Another highlight straight away. Furuhashi now try to make a run. He, oh, I spoke so highly of him. And he loses the ball. Tiore Solomon. Cross it in. Taylor deals with it. He puts enough pressure on him to head that over the bar. Come on. Half an hour to go. I'm just scanning the team. We're going to make a sub. Right, let's see. You don't make subs for no reason, but we'll bring up James Forrest. He's not been playing particularly, actually, he has been playing okay. Bring on a bad for Jota. He's been not playing at his best today. Um, Sora looks nervous, which I don't like. So I'm going to bring on McCarthy in midfield. It's a cam, work rate, solid midfielder. 20 minutes to go. Right, we're into the final 10 minutes. I think it's time to shut up shop here. Yeah. So. Um, what into hold shape. Slow the pace down. Keep the high defensive line, but we'll pull these guys down. Lower line of engagement. So that. And then time wasting. Frequently change this to fortress. Now let's see if we can shut up shop here. Ten minutes to go. Come on. Oh, who's injured? Juranovic. Okay. Right, Neko is going to come in for him. Does it look bad? Potential foot injury. We'll see how bad that is. But let's go, boys. Come on. What have we got here? Free kick just outside the box. In stoppage time. Mycon's taking it. Great block from the wall. Hunt across. And we deal with that. Fantastic. Furuhashi now. <laughs> I thought he was just going to go through and go there. Right, it's Miley. Come on. We need to be careful here. Connor Plank, yeah. Marcos Antonio. He shoots. It's just wide. Come on, that should be it. We've got, what, three minutes left. Two minutes left. And it's done. Yes. Now, that is a huge result a huge result for the club we've just managed to get ourselves into the champions league group stage and um that was one of our targets i've hit one of our targets in season one now <laughs> episode what what's this episode four episode four we've done it. oh this is unreal unreal scenes but we've still got a big game at the weekend it's a big game against rangers but let's get in the dressing room and congratulate the boys because this is oh, amazing. Be proud, boys. Everyone thought we'd lose. And look at that. That is amazing. That's a huge result for the club. Absolutely massive result for the club. Let's see. He's out for three to four weeks. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. That's why we brought Nick in for that sort of rotation and backup. James Forrest is out. Okay, and receive some money, but that is not even half the money we're going to receive, is it? 
there we go 12.65 million for getting through to the champions league group stage that is a massive bit of income for the club look at that we're now sending 80 million overall in terms of our budget or our overall balance massive absolutely massive for the club we've made 40 million pounds this season so far brilliant fantastic let's get some admin done and then let's jump into the rangers game right so before we jump in to the old farm we have our champions league group stage draw so we're seeded four which uh you know means we could potentially get some big teams here so uh let's jump through the draw right so here's the lay of the land before our pot is drawn so where do we really want to end up don't know. Um, this group looks very difficult. Chelsea, PSG, and Zenit um, is all quite difficult. To be fair, it's Champions League. They're all difficult groups. Um, but it looks things. FC Bayern and Barcelona and Atalanta. That could be difficult. Inter Real Besiktas. This group potentially. I don't know. Even even then, I don't know. Right, let's just stop talking. Let's draw the teams. Okay, so we've been drawn against Virial Zebre or Juventus and Porto. Okay, very interesting tie. So there we go. So that's our first Champions League group stage out in the save. We've got a chance, have we? Maybe? Let's see. Right, so we have been smashed with injuries before the Rangers game. We have, unfortunately, like we said in that last game, we lost Juranovic for three weeks. Um, Forrest is injured. Um, he's injured for one to three days, so he should be back um, for our next game, but he's out for today. And Furuhashi is out for three weeks. So, again, but I changed the lineup today. So we've got Joe Hart and goals, Ball and Goli and Williams at wing backs, uh, Welsh and Starfield in the centre defence, McGregor and Beaton in midfield with Turnbull ahead of them, Jot on the left, Abad on the right, and Giamakis up front bench is looking pretty weak today not what you want going into an old farm but anything can happen so let's go let's travel to ibrox and let's get this three points in the bag shall we and here we go the first old farm of the save we've just came off the back of qualifying for the champions league group stage but hopefully that doesn't get the boys too distracted there's a team that's lining up as we went through let's go Players come out to the pitch. Come on. Kicks off. Let's go. Right, here we go. First highlight. Gold some of the free kick. De Jong to Kamara. They're coming forward. Kent's through dangerous. Is it a goal? Absolutely skies it. We got away with that. Okay, it was a save. We got away with that one. We need to be careful from the corner. Starfield clears. And that is what we're looking for. Right, free kick. Ball and goalie. He's going for the long throw here. In the box, Giamakis, come on, George's Giamakis, and as you can see, long throws still work on FM. <laughs> One 0 Celtic, come on, that's Ball and goalie, long throw in, Giamakis with the header, superb, and that is it. That's half time. It's one 0 Celtic at Ibrox. We couldn't have dreamed for a better first half there. They've kind of been all over us. They've had the most possession. We kind of expected that. We've tweaked our tactics to kind of press them more and kind of play on the back foot a wee bit. But what a, what a result that is. 1-0. G-Marcus with a goal. Let's get in the second half. So Celtic have made a change. Oh, sorry. Rangers have made a change. Uh, Aribos came on. For Kent. See how that changes things. Free kick. Hadji to De Jong. He's got loads of space. And it just went wide. I thought it was a save. It just went wide. Another long throw here, Ball and Golly. Stephen Welsh, just over. How long before they fix that? Because, let's check, right? I know people have reported this. Uh, where is he? We've got a team here. Um, Ball and Golly, let's see. What's he got for long throws? He's got six long throws. He's launching them in the box. Uh, but yeah, that'll probably get patched. But it's a joy to play in the beta, isn't it? Let's go. Just under half an hour to go now. Probably start looking at making a change. There's a highlight first. Aribo 
Zarkov, Kamara, De Jong through Welsh clears. Hadji, Starfield, a great tackle. Oh, that was some great defending. Great, great defending from Celtic there. Absolutely fantastic. Let's make some changes. So I've been focusing down the left here because I know that Tavernier just fires through. So I'm going to take that off just now, um, just for the, the kind of second half or the, the end of the game, um, just so we're not too gung-ho down one side. We can hold on to this lead. Thomas Arms, David Turnbull is a great player, but he's absolutely knackered. So we're going to bring on Rogic there. Um, and yeah, that's it for just now. Leave that at that. Come on. Patterson has just came on at left back, which is interesting. Oh, I'm just going to do something, but highlight, free kick, Jota, penalty! It's penalty at Celtic. Come on, let's go. I just took off Turnbull as well. Who's taking it? Oh, it's Schumacher. Can he get a second? He can. 2 0. Hopefully, that seals the result here. A massive result away from home extends that gap at the top of the table. Look at this. Schumacher. Cam as you like. Bottom left. Superb. And that is that. 2-0 to Celtic away from home against Rangers. We deserve the win as well. Fantastic performance. I'm more than happy with that from the lads. And look at that. That result puts us top of the league. Well, we're still top of the league with 12 points. Rangers are currently down fifth with five points. So that is some lead we're starting to amass on, uh, on Rangers there. So that is a huge one for us. Ross County and Hearts are the closest to us. Ross County, if they can win um, their next game, then obviously they're only within two points of us. Um, but we'll see how they can keep up that form. But it's looking exciting. We're in Champions League group stage. We're now sitting top of the league with a good gap already after four games. It's looking good. It's looking good. Right, so we want to get smashing through this season um, here. So... Next time we come back, what we'll do is we'll play right through up until here when we play Juventus um, in our third Champions League group stage match. So we'll come back for Motherwell and the Juventus game there. So that'll be our next episode there. I'll play through here and we'll come back with an update if there's been any more transfer um, activity before the end of the window. We're now going into the national break so it gives us a bit of a break as well um, but hopefully when we come back we'll be in a good position in the Champions League and we'll also be in a good position in the league but again as always thank you guys for watching appreciate everyone for clicking the video if you did like it hit like hit subscribe leave a comment and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.